And the new inner tube system that I will be trying is called the Lucioli inner tube system. And what's up goon climbers so i am here with my 2019 ktm 450 sx hill climb bike just doing a bunch of winter maintenance to it got to change the starter on it redoing the front suspension and while i was doing that i thought well i might as well try a new inner tube system and the new inner tube system that i will be trying is called the lucioli inner tube system and these guys have just came out with this like a year or two ago and it's a really cool system they say you don't get any flats or anything. I've seen videos of this inner tube system run on the rim without a tire and not bust or anything. So we're going to try that out and see how it does. I have a 140 M5B with a couple grip studs in it that I'm going to put this inner tube in because I'll be running this knobby all winter pretty much in the snow. So I don't want to have to change a tire in the winter because that sucks. So hopefully this tube system will be good for this winter. Let's check it out. I've seen a couple videos on YouTube about this tube system. Um, so I was just really curious. So hopefully it'll go well for me. Wow, this thing is pretty intense. Jeez, all right. So, here it is. Pretty big looking. Um, hopefully I can put it on this M5B and it not be too much of a job. And also, hopefully, putting it on won't be as tough as I think it is. Because I've changed a lot of tires and whatnot, but hopefully this isn't too gnarly. So, there it is. All right, we're going to read some instructions figure out how to put it on. All right, everybody. So I did get the Lucioli tube system mounted on my tire um, on the rim and it's got three different stems on it, which is kind of tricky to get in there. You have to pretty much put it on like a bib, but also you have to get these stems inside and in the rim. So it wasn't too bad for me to do. I had to use my stand for it instead of just doing it on the ground. All in all, it was a little bit tricky to get on, but I think it's going to pay off with it not ever breaking, busting, causing many flats or anything. So I can just run the crap out of this tire and just beat it down on rocks or anything and not worry. Because hill climbing, your rear end does get beat up a lot and you are hitting stuff pretty fast to go up it. So I think it's going to pay off in the end with this tube system. So if you guys like this video, just stay tuned. I'm going to be having some videos on this system and what it's like hill climbing with it. And if you want to get you a set in my link, I have a link to their website and you just go there. And if you want to get a tube system, you can. And in the discount code, you can just put my discount code, which I'll have below. So hopefully this video helps you to determine if you want this system for hill climbing or just for hard enduro. Because I know there's a lot of guys that are doing hard enduro and also desert racing and they use this system. Also, a lot of dual sport people are using them as well. So Stay tuned. I'll have more videos of this beating it around on this hill climb bike once I get it up and running, which won't be too long. So thanks guys for watching and a lot more hill climb content coming. So stay tuned.